they say he who comes to justice must also have a clean sheet. Hands. All right. So in other words, what that means to us is that we have a system in, a con in our nation today where politics is like the most industrious industry in that sense. It's becoming yeah. a profession of sorts. You get, it's coming, you, you get. So it, it's an industry that is highly financed, so there are too much money in it. Everybody is coming in, not necessarily for the value they're going to deliver to the country, but everybody has to be there because one way or the other, when you're there, you have influence over your average common person that you possibly stay in the neighborhood with and all of that. So the industry is looking so attractive. And so once you have an industry that is pulled by so much um, com commercial value, what you have is that you have the wrong set of people coming into it. Now, aside from that, what you need to also consider is the fact that an, a nation where we no longer hold people accountable to values, all right, before now you have kids when they are grown up, um, the parents tell them to remember the names of the family that they are. Mm. All right, but today you hear do whatever you can to just make the money. Mm. And so that's the reason why when you find that's people true. in politics, that's they no true. longer uphold family that's standards, they no longer uphold um, um, industry standards, professional standards, vocational standards. We just want to do whatever we can do, cut corners and all of that. Now, it brings me to what she just also asked again about how the rest part of the world are doing things to solve um, pr um, corruption problem. The truth is this, if we have a nation and then we have true governance who are interested to solve corruption problem, we will solve it. But the problem is that we have leaders over the years who are people who don't have proper goodwill, they don't have sound character to be able to prosecute corruption. So take for instance India, um, you know, a very innovative young man came up with something called IPDBribe.com. You know, in such a way where if I give you bribe now, for instance, I try as much as possible to have it on a clip, and then I post the clip, and then the media guys take the clip and then post the man's picture somewhere but, on but, the but social media.